Welcome back. My name is Scratch Tutorials, and today I will be teaching you how to make a notepad in Scratch, uh, like a kind you would draw on. So we're gonna go ahead and name this a uh, notepad, and I have already imported some sound effects right here. Uh, this is like page turning and stuff, so I'm gonna delete that. So now we have some drawing things. Uh, I'm gonna delete this. You have to find in here what you want and what you don't want, and what I want is just the brush strokes. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, shorten the gap between each brush stroke by selecting what we don't want and pressing delete. So we want it happening a lot. We want a lot of brush strokes when we're drawing. We also have a page flip sound because we want to, when we press the space bar, uh, flip to a new page. It wouldn't, it w it's not going to save the progress of us drawing, but it is just going to give us a blank page to draw on. So we're going to uh, go ahead and there's the page flipping, and we're just going to go ahead and delete the rest. So now we have our two sound effects. I'm going to go ahead and, and snip the cat. And I'm going to create a new sprite, and it's just going to be a very tiny, tiny, tiny dot. We're going to make it very small. Just going to... That. So now we have our tiny... Uh, drawing thing right here it's barely visible so now let's add some code to this so we're gonna add a forever script we're gonna grab the pen and we're going to select the color that we want to uh, have our pen mark as and I'm just gonna set it as the same color as the folder which is some sort of gray color we're gonna go ahead and clear when we start the game and we're gonna set uh, pen up so it won't start drawing as soon as we start the game and we're also going to create a new variable call it size for I'm just gonna call it pen size and we are going to do that right click I'm gonna make it a slider and we're gonna set slider min and max so we want the minimum of 5 a maximum of 25 we'll try that out at first so now you can see that we can adjust this to any thing we want and it'll change the variable itself. So we're going to put in the forever script. We're going to set uh, set pen set pen size to pen size and then we'll be able to set the pen size. I might want to do 2 1 to 25 or how about 1 to 20. So then we have this script done. What we have to do is add a if then script. So if uh, the mouse is down, if we're pressing down on the mouse, then we want to put the pen down. If it's not, we want the pen up. And alongside pen down, see, we're gonna also put uh, the sound effect. We're just going to create a new variable and call it a uh, pen down question mark. And we're going to go ahead and set this to zero at the beginning. And then we're going to set it to one. And then we're going to set it to zero. Um, so now when we're pressing down, it will set the variable to one. You can go ahead and check that out. So you can see that it's cha it's updating to one when we're pressing down with our mouse. And it would be drawing right now, but we d have not added the code for it to continuously go to our mouse. And that's pretty simple. Let me go ahead and hide, pen down. So we go into motion, and we're just gonna go click go to mouse pointer in the forever loop. So now, whenever we draw, whenever we click, we should be drawing. Now we're gonna add some sound effects. 
and we can also adjust the pen size. So now we're drawing, but you can see that there's some sort of rectangle following wherever we go. I'm just gonna do a smiley face. So you can see this black rectangle. And also, I wanna make it so it's not drawing when we are changing the pen size. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new sprite and we're going to just make it a box, black box. And we're gonna just drag it up there next to the variable. So now we're going to just we're just gonna, we don't need to add basically any code to this. We just need to set the ghost effect to 100 because if you're doing, if you hide it, if you just hide it, it's not gonna detect it as an object. But if you want it to detect an object, but you don't want it showing, you wanna do set ghost effect to 100. And that's also what we're going to do for the uh, pen rec uh, square rectangle thing itself we're gonna set the uh ghost effect to 100 and we're just gonna put that right there because we don't need to keep on updating it we just need to update it once um so now we're going to add an and uh code to this so we're gonna say mouse down and it is not touching I'm gonna call this, uh, we're gonna call that the draw, and we're gonna call this the, uh, no draw, re uh, square. So now we have the draw and the no draw square, so we just need it to not be touching the no draw square. So you put that in there, and save. So now, we can draw and it won't be drawing when we're doing this one thing is also it's in front it's currently in front of the pen size so we just need to uh go back 100 layers and then it should allow us to change our pen size so now you can see that we're not able to draw when we're adjusting the variable, but we are allowed to draw out here. And we're also going to add a script that will prevent us, it'll, pre it'll reset the um, draw si pen size when we restart, which is really easy. I should actually put this in the draw. We're gonna set the pen size we're just gonna set it to uh, default of two. So now whenever we click, it'll be set to two. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Okay, so now we want to make the sounds. So we're first we're going to make it so it will give us a new page. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go to sounds and we're gonna go ahead and put the page flip into the draw thing so now we have the page flip in the draw thing. So now we're going to put a when space is pressed, we're going to play page flip. And then we're go just gonna clear, we're just gonna clear uh, everything. So now when we draw, we can click and it'll hopefully play the sound, if it is, and it will erase everything. So we can draw and then we can click space and it will reset our page. So now we want to add the drawing sound effect. So we're gonna just uh, go into here. We, there's an easier way to do this, but we're just gonna do it with the variables. We're gonna do ver uh, forever if else. And we're gonna create another forever script. So we're going to have the uh, pen sound we're gonna have the pen sound drawing. We're gonna have uh, drawing and we're gonna put it in the draw thing. So now we have the drawing thing and hopefully that sounds okay. Uh, and then we're just going to put
put this, the drawing sound effect, into the forever loop. And then we're going to set the volume to 0%, so it will not be audible. And then we're going to say, if pen down equals 1, then we're going to set the sound to 100%. Uh, or we're going to set it to 0%. Now one thing that uh, I've cut, run into a shortcut is that it is a little bit delayed once you set it to 100%, there's a little bit of a delay, and that little bit of delay can sometimes really mess you up, um, and I've had that run into that problem a lot with my programming. So now, we shall test it out. So as you can see, or here, we are drawing, and the drawing sound effect is playing, but as soon as we stop, there is no drawing sound effect, and then we can press space uh, to erase it. But one problem that we're seeing is that when we click the page flip, it's already at zero percent, so we can't we can't really do that. So what we're just gonna do is we're going to move these scripts into a different sprite, and we're just gonna set the volume to a hundred percent. And we're just going to get rid of those. So now they're in here. And they should work just the same. And then when we press space, it will erase everything. Uh, that's basically all you need for a basic sketch pad. Um, we can also uh, change the colors. If we wanted to, we could make a... Uh, pen color scripts and then we're going to do the same thing double clicking is a shortcut for uh, that and we're gonna put it right next to it right there and we're going to expand the triangle by just going into costumes select this and just expand it let's see how that looks okay that's a little bit too far we can just move it and then we're going to have it stay in that position, lock in that position. So now it should still not be drawing. Oop, whoops. There we go. So now it shouldn't be drawing, but now you can. So now let's hook up this pen color thing. So we're just going to go into draw and we're gonna set the pen color to pen color. But we're going to stick it at zero uh, for pen color at first, and then set pen color to that. So now, it's just black. Oh, we gotta move that triangle, that square a little bit. There we go. Okay, so, now we have it moved a little bit. So now we're going to go into draw, and we're going to set the pen color. We're gonna copy that, just erase that, and set pen color to pen color. So now, hopefully, when we do this, we can change the color. Just a little bit. You can see that it's now like a bluish color. So there's not really much of a difference, unless we, uh, what if we were to make this one uh, quite bigger? There we go, now we have more blue. So we have like sort of a pen color adjustment. Uh, it's not working too well, but that's okay. I'm just gonna pull that back out. Let's see, and so we're just gonna take this out and then take out pen color, and then we're just gonna uh, delete the pen color scripts, delete the variable delete it, and we're just going to uh, move the square back. Right there. And then we're just going to get rid of this. So, now we have a... This is how you make a basic uh, drawing pad. Let's go ahead and set... Woo! Okay, there we go. 
So now we just have a basic scratch programming uh, pad thing. So we could uh, write my cat name is miles okay so now we just have a basic drawing thing and it's pretty cool and it also has sound effects and then we can press space to erase uh thank you for watching and i'll see you in the